So in a previous video, uh, we showed you how we can use a jQuery uh, draggable and jQuery droppable so to implement a, um, uh, a tool uh, bar on the left-hand side that uh, you can drag tools from the toolbar onto the canvas, right, and, uh, and then just drop them there, and that's where they, they, they are rendered. We showed you how to uh, create a little data model that kept track of all the tools being added to the canvas, and then... Um, and then iterate over that diagram and render a node for each one of them onto, onto the canvas. So on um, this video, what we'd like to show you is how we can um, add additional behavior that would allow you to edit uh, that canvas so you can drag in, uh, the, those, those tools that have been added to the canvas. Right now, they're not draggable. We'd like to achieve something like this where um, you can drag, you can, you know, once you've dragged elements onto, onto the canvas, you can go on and then edit you know, move the canvas around and uh, and have to and then you know um, change the data model uh, to uh, keep track of the new position of these of these tools once they've been they've, they've been uh, moved around. Right now, we don't have the right hand side being draggable, uh, so we we know how to add drag draggable behavior. That's easy. So let's do that. Uh, let's um, go on and see. This is where the the um, uh, the diagram is being rendered. Right. We iterate over the nodes in the collection of diagram, uh, in, in, the in the diagram collection that contains objects of nodes in there. Um, depending on their type, we, we uh, select with what HTML we want to render, we create a DOM, and then we, we configure the position to be absolute, we want to position it absolute uh, um, on, the, on the canvas, right, uh, left and right. Uh, so to make it draggable, that's easy. We can just say dot draggable, right, and drag a bull. Right. Once we create the brand new object, we just make it draggable. So let's see what that does. If we if we render, right, and we and we drag uh, tool one, uh, if we move it around, notice that it is indeed draggable. But when I let it go, notice that it goes back to tool one. Right, what's going on here? Uh, same thing with tool two. There it is. When I when I let it go, right, it goes back to tool two. Um, and uh, what's going on here is that um, let's uh, let's inspect. Um, uh, um, what happens is that uh, once we drag it, right, once we drag it, what we have, have, have to do is is update the position of the uh, in the object, right? That has the position object that has the left and the and the top, and then call diagram a render diagram so that it, it renders it renders again. Okay. Um, uh, we can look at the uh, source when when it, it starts rendering it. We can come here, uh, and we've moved this around. Uh, we'll look at the diagram. Notice that um, uh, we seem to have how many di uh, objects? One, two, three, four, five. Uh, but it looks like we don't really have that many, right? We have tool one and tool two. And what's happening here is that uh, is that uh, since we're moving these, right? You'll notice that we have we have an even more longer list of of elements. What's happening is that um, once we're dragging them and we let them go, right, onto the canvas, it's being interpreted by the droppable here, the drop event, as as adding yet another element, right? Uh, but you'll notice that uh, these elements that are being added, right, if we put a breakpoint here, right, and we drag this, notice that indeed it's trying to push new nodes. But these new nodes only have an ID and a position, but they don't have a type. And the reason is that these these tools are a little bit different. The HTML and DOM for these these tools that have been dragged are a little bit different from the tools, the HTML in the left hand side, right? They don't contain, for instance, a type or a class that says that they're either tool one, tool two, or tool three. Actually, we don't even want to add anything here in the in the data model uh, for for later rendering. Actually, we want to ignore any drops uh, for elements uh, are when they're moved. Uh, on, on the canvas. So what we're going to do here in the in in the in the drop event handler for the droppable, right? We're going to ignore any elements that don't have these classes tool one, tool two, or tool three. We're going to do an else, and then we're just going to return. So we don't want to add uh, elements, right? We don't we don't want to uh, uh, add new elements from elements that are already in the canvas, right? Uh, so let's try that. Let's refresh. Let's uh, take out the breakpoints. Um, if we add a tool one to the canvas, there it is. Now, can we drag it around? Yes, we can drag it around. Uh, it's going to try and render. We're going to try and render. We say okay. 
Um, let's see what happened. Uh, okay, let's let's move this one around. Let's move. But notice that we move around, right? And we and we let it go. It looks like they're being moved, but when we add a new one, right, they seem to snap back to their original position. And the reason is that uh, as we move this around, we're not updating the data model for with a new position, right? So it's being ignored, right? That this, these drag events are being completely ignored. Um, but when we add a new one, right, we're gonna f go into into this drop event handler, which is gonna add the brand new node and is gonna render the diagram the way it was previously, right? Plus this new node, which does has the correct position. But all the old nodes, right, we never updated their position, so they're gonna snap back to their original position when they were originally added to the diagram. So they snap back, there it is, right? Uh, so, so when we do drag, we want to be able to manipulate the position of whatever was dragged, right? We want to put it in the correct position where they need to be. Okay, so to do that, um, here in the in the draggable, we want to configure. We want to listen in when the when the drag when the dragging stops, right? When it when we stop dragging that element, we want to update its position to its new position, right? So we want to. Um, handle the stop event, right? And stop event is one of those event handlers that we can configure in jQuery UI, right? If we go to uh, we go to the demos and we go to draggable, we'll notice that in the API documentation, it is one of the uh, uh, events that we can that gets notified when whenever the dragging stops, right? And it takes this argument and event and the UI, right? Uh, so we can put here a function that takes as argument uh, the event and the UI. The event is like a we'll have the timestamp of when the event occurred. UI will tell you you know things such as the the DOM element that actually is being dragged, uh, its position, its width, height, and whatnot. Okay, uh, so let's uh, put here a console so we can print out uh, the uh, information about the UI. All right, so let's. Um, Let's go back and let's refresh. Let's put a breakpoint right there at the stop events. Right? If we go and move this around, right there it is. The tool has been added. But when I drag it, right, and I let it go, and when it stops, it calls that event handle right there. We can look at the UI. Uh, we can look at the original position of the element when it was dragged. We, we can look at the new position of the element. And basically, what we need to be able to do is update the position of the object that we are uh, in the data model that we are uh, dragging right the the object that represents this this uh, uh, this DOM element that's being dragged around right we know we have the position we just need to um, modify the original object so how do we how do you, this is this, this is a UI we know that it was an h3 uh, we know that it was a draggable yes but it doesn't have enough information to link back to the original object that represents this uh, object of being dragged so how can we go back to the data model and modify the original object, its its position? Uh, so what we could do is is that uh, when when um, when we added when we created the DOM object that was added to the canvas, uh, we could tag it with an ID. Right? We can tag it using the ID of the object that was used to render this, right? Which is inside of the node object, right? So we could do uh, you know add an attribute, add an ID attribute again attribute that's a jQuery. Um, function that allows you to manipulate the element, the DOM element that's being created, or DOM elements that already exist. And we're going to do is we're adding a new attribute, an ID attribute that has the value of the node underscore ID. Right. So now, uh, when when that element is being dragged, right, we 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 can take a look at the ID element and see, uh, so that we can then look it up in the in the in the diagram object in the diagram array. That has all the IDs of the nodes that are being rendered. Okay, so let's uh, let's uh, do this again uh, with the breakpoint here of when we stop dragging. Right, so let's go to one. Right, and now that we drag it around, we'll notice that the UI in the helper, right, we'll notice that now the H3 is tagged with the ID. See that? We can use that ID right to um, to retrieve that ID of the UI helper, and that ID can then be used to look up the original object uh, in the array of elements and update its position uh, left and top. Okay, uh, so we can continue. There it is. Okay, so um, once we stop dragging, we can use the UI helper to retrieve 
uh, the ID right from the UI dot helper helper uh, and then we can retrieve the attribute the ID attribute and now that we have the ID attribute we can look up the in the diagram the object that has that ID we say for var i in diagram right and look up the uh, the node once we so we can say if uh, diagram sub i diagram sub i uh, dot underscore id right if that's equal to uh, to the id that we just retrieved if it's equal uh, now we have the element right that this is the object that was used originally to render this um, and we want to update its top and left uh, to be equal to the position of the UI helper. Notice that uh, if we move this around, right, uh, let's see, let's put a breakpoint in there again. If we move it around, it'll have in the UI, oh, there it is. So we have the position element. We have the new position left and top. Okay, so let's do that. Let's uh, say uh, that the diagram sub i, the top, Okay, it's going to be equal to the position of the UI, UI dot, UI dot position, position, uh, dot top, uh, and the left is also left and left. Okay, um, and um, all right, I think that's it. Uh, let's uh, continue here and let's uh, refresh. And let's take out the breakpoint, and we have tool one. Right, we have tool two. Right, if we move tool one, let's see if we add tool three. Um, tool one goes back. Uh, that didn't seem to work. Uh, let's see. Let's put a breakpoint here. Um, so let's see if we move tool one. Okay, let's see the diagram, the ID. The ID that we're looking for is 147. Uh, do we ever find any match? Okay, we seem to have a match. And the top, and the top, let's see, what was the top for this? Uh, diagram, which one is it? Oh, it's position top. Okay, so that's not what we want. So it's so it's position, position dot top. Okay, let's refresh, see if this, this helps any. So tool one, there it is. Let's move it around. Let's add tool two. Hmm, that didn't seem to work either. Uh, let's uh, look at this position. Uh, actually, let me check my cheat sheet. Uh, it's position UI, yeah, UI position left, position top. That seems to do the trick. Uh, UI, UI position top, node position left, 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 yeah, that seems to work. Uh, let me refresh, maybe I didn't refresh, tool one, uh, tool two, if I move tool one and then I move tool three, hmm, tool one seems to go back. Let me put this tool one right here so I can see exactly what's going on. Uh, so tool two here, if I move tool two down here, and then add tool three. Huh, seems to go backwards, right? Tool one, uh, did I miss, did I not diagram top? Top is top, left is left. Hmm, diagram I helper UI stop. And var ID, okay, so we found it. Uh, console ID, we got the ID. Uh, we're looking, we did find it. We did find it and uh, node position left. Left, did we forget to subtract something? Top, position top, top, position left is left. Position top, top. Mm, this looks correct. Node conditional. How about the styling? Does the styling match? I believe the styling matches correctly. 
All right, I'm going to debug this and add an additional uh, uh, video at the end uh, with the debug. All right, that would be in the next video.